Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from K Hux Nation, and today's episode, uh, I kind of mentioned it in the previous Pokemon Masters video, but I'm essentially just going to be doing a little bit of gameplay here, just so that way, those of you who just kind of want to see the game being played in its uh, raw form can kind of get a better sense of that. So without further ado, I'm basically just going to be just doing my normal gameplay, what I would normally be doing, and just kind of commenting and narrating what is happening, what I'm doing and such uh, as I go along. So, but other than that, I'm basically just gonna be playing like normal. So that way you can kind of get an idea, uh, get, get a sense of how it's like and such. So without further ado, oh, by the way, if you want more info as to more of the game as a whole, uh, so that way I'm, because I'm not gonna be going over everything. I'm just gonna be doing things that I would normally do. Uh, if you want more of how the entire game works as a whole though, go ahead and check out my last video. I'll be leaving a little uh, card up there for you to go ahead and click on if you want to check that out. But, oh, excuse me. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So where I left off, I left off doing the story. I just unlocked the training area. Um, I'm kind of done with that for about right now though. I'm not gonna do those last two even though I could. I'm just going to go ahead and continue the story. I noticed that they did add a co-op option, but it's not available just yet. At least not for me just yet. Um, but I finished the stories one and two. I'm going ahead and do chapter three. Oh, Volcanic Panic. Honestly, I will say, though, that I do kind of enjoy how the, uh, how the interactions happen. Like, they, they make great use of the 3D models, that's for sure. They, they look very close to how they do... Uh, in the video games which is kind of cool to see actually it's like a nice nice little mix between like the video games and the anime which is it's kind of cool to see you can see here it says uh the place paulo told us about should be around here right mm. yeah because this place is soft the really trainers that come here on purpose here we go <laughs> you hear people fighting in the background i guess there actually are people here look over there hmm. so you see blank Okay, so you see, you're going to see a lot of, like, very popular and well-known characters throughout the Pokemon universe in this game, which is kind of cool. Is that all you got, Flannery? Get back up. I'm not done yet. Excuse me. You guys are trainers, right? Can we ask you a question? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> We're looking for people to join our PML team. So in case you're not aware, uh, PML is like Pokemon Masters League. That's what it's it, that's what it is in short. Okay. Um and essentially, like I mentioned in my previous video, uh the battles are done in a 3v3 format. You have three tra trainers on each team controlling one Pokemon, so that's what this is about. What? The PML. I see, but I'm training with Blaine here so I can be an awesome trainer like my grandpa. Thanks. I'm flattered you asked, but I want to focus on getting stronger right now. Um, and you're not gonna compete? Well, guess I can't. I can't force you. <laughs> I see you made your way to Pasio as well, Blaine. Didn't think I'd see you here. Oh Pleasure running to you too, Brock. Seems like you got yourself a pretty strong team here. Mm. I just had a brilliant idea. See, I've been thinking of moving on to a new training area here pretty soon. Hey. Sorry to spring this on you guys, but how would you feel about battling Flannery here? Sure, why not? <laughs> Pump the brakes a bit, would ya? Didn't mean to write this second. There are a lot of other sync pairs that came here to train, and a lot of hot-blooded ones just like us. <laughs> How about you battle your way through them and finally battle Flannery at the top of the volcano? What? Want me to represent all the other trainers here and stand atop the volcano as the final trainer to beat? Mm. That sounds like a pretty big role. Blaine's entrusting me to represent the volcano as the strongest trainer out of all of us. Go. I'll show you what I'm made of. And see me at the top if you can. I just love the aesthetics. They look so well done. Look at that kid go. Sorry to put all this on you kids, but could you do me a favor and humor her for a bit? Be most appreciative. Don't worry, we won't waste your time. You're looking for team members, right? I'm sure you'll find a few great ones. Here we go. Thanks for looking out, old man. Let's get to it, Brian. So you're gonna have quests like this where it's just dialogue. And you just get 10 gems for this, okay? These are fairly easy. 
And of course, if you don't want to actually read the dialogue, you're, there is a skip bottom on the bottom right corner of the of the screen for you to get and just skip it. Um, and then you actually get to like actual battle uh, quests. These ones do award 30 gems instead of 10, so it's a, it's a little bit higher. The bear uses water type moves, the enemy team will give you an advantage. So we're fighting against fire types, uh, and they'll be, be weak to either water or rock. So we have to more time. I'm gonna go ahead and swap out my Snivy over here for another water type. We'll go ahead and get Barry on the team. So now we're guaranteed to be super effective all the time. It's pretty nice. Go ahead and go back, and then we'll get started. You don't scare me. So it has a bit of that classic, you know, make eye contact type feel uh, with other trainers in battle. Although it obviously is done a little slightly. Like I mentioned before, it's a 3v3. Okay. Let's see. Uh, do -do. Oh, well, that's right. I forgot. It's been a hot minute. Let's go ahead and do you use one. You do use one. Let's go ahead and use you instead. And we'll do you at the same time as well. Oh, damn, that hits everybody? What? I didn't know that. So in case you're not aware, I am consuming... You can see the little meter on the bottom of my screen. Uh, as that builds up, I can use moves that also consume certain amounts of meter. Nice. We'll just go ahead and use bubble again. I like the AOB-ness of that. Nice. And then go ahead and... Then we'll use bubble again. The AOE moves seem to be kind of OP, to be honest. And now we can use Onyx over here to finish off, uh, or at least help finish off. I wish you would show the names of the Pokemon, because I don't remember the names of all Pokemon anymore. I haven't been keeping up in forever just because of the fact there's just way too many. <laughs> I recognize them, but I don't remember their names. While Onyx is recovering, I'm gonna go ahead and use. Oh, it's a full heal. I need to use the potion. Use potion on Onyx real quick. Just heal up, and then we'll use Rock Star. That was a fairly easy win. Open the dialogue, cause. These guys' dialogue aren't important. So you can see, it's kind of like a normal, like, adventure path you would in Pokemon, where there's so many trainers in the way, you just have to, like, take them out. It's, it's fairly reminiscent. Very, very Pokemon-like. Fight me. Black Belt Gordon. The old dude on the right. Uh, let's go ahead and use bubble. <laughs> Followed up by a bubble beam. <laughs> Took him out. We we'll use bubble again. Followed by an EXP or extra special defense all. And we'll attack you. No, we'll attack you with these bubble beam. Afterwards, we'll start using rock throw on the Pontia. Target him. This. Ooh, avoid the attack. Interesting. Use my sync move here. Take him out. It's kind of like a Z move for those of you uh, unaware. Well done. <laughs> I never... All right. Sorry about that, guys. For some reason, my mic cut out uh, during during that battle. 
Uh, and I ended up recording like a, a small segment without realizing it. So I'm just just going back to it. So just to kind of uh, recap what you guys missed. Um, I completed battles. I, I think I did another battle. Um, I did level up. Or uh, I did teach uh, some of my, my Pokemon some new moves. Okay, so I did moves and skills. I taught Misty Starmie. Uh, catch us if you can. It is a, a move that sharply raises an ally's evasiveness and makes an ally gradually heal itself. It's kind of, kind of real, at least in the very beginning stages of the game, it's kind of OP, pretty gross. Makes it hard to hit on top of, heals them automatically. But I don't need to use potions anymore. That's pretty good. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I can finally start actually obtaining passive skills now, which is pretty, uh, pretty good to see. But I just don't have enough items to actually do surgeons yet, so <laughs> nothing I can do about that. Um, but yeah, I taught Starmie that, and then for Barry, because Bubble was just so good, I was like, I need to teach Barry's Piplup something. Uh, so I taught a Bubble Beam as well now, so that way I don't have to rely on just Starmie to do heavy amounts of damage now, too. So that's what I did for him. Um, I can also get no hesitation from him later on once I get enough items. And what that does is sharply raises the user's speed and raises the user's critical hit rate. Again, pretty good, but in my opinion, the uh, catch me if you can is a lot better. So those are the two new moves that I just taught them. I don't have any uh, trainer manuals to actually level them up, give them EXP, so. Oh, actually, yeah, I think I uh, did some dailies or something. Oh, okay, now I have a training, uh, training manual. Let's see, it's only one though. What are the dailies? Get coins, exchange items, complete an area with the battle bike claimed already. I don't know. I wish it would tell you how to do things a little bit better. Oh, it's probably worth mo mentioning that there is an event tab on the bottom left corner of the screen, but it's not available yet simply because obviously the game just came out, so there's no special events going on at the moment. Uh, but I'm just going to continue on with uh, with like one more quest at the main story real quick. I'm hoping this is against actual Flannery or whatever her name was this time. Well, here's Blaine. Hey! Are you there? I saw the way you battled out there with your team. You're much stronger than I imagined. <laughs> You're the old guy from earlier. What are you doing here? I realize that I may not have explained the full situation. Huh. What do you mean the full situation? Yes. It's about Flannery. She's a good trainer, has a lot of passion and ambition. The problem with her is that she gets riled up very easily. Mm -hmm. I thought you mentioned it. The girl earlier was getting oddly pumped up. Mm. You know the battles on Posse are all team battles. I want her to learn to not get ahead of herself and to depend on others. That's why I suggested that she battle your team. Yeah. I see. If that's the case, leave it to us. Much obliged. Appreciate it. Really, all you want. Do your best. should be up ahead. I'll be watching your battle from the shadow. So finally, I went through all the grunt people <laughs> <laughs> along the way, and now I can finally fight Flannery. Despite what he says, Blaine must be worried about Flannery. All right, all right let's hurry to the top. <laughs> there you are. What? Or, I mean, you've done it well to make it this far. <laughs> you here, that means you were able to win all your battles to get here. It must be pretty good. And my honor as a gym leader, and as the granddaughter of the Elite Four member, to bring honor to Blaine, who trained me. I'll show you my hottest moves. Here we go. Ooh, yeah. Alright, so that was just a text. Now, the next quest should actually be just fighting. And I'm willing to bet when we do fight, uh, beat her, we might actually unlock her and add her to our team, which would be nice because I don't have any fire Pokemon just yet. So it'd be good to have uh, water and rock. Okay, I have that. Just continue. Let's, uh, give this a go. All right, uh, let's go ahead. Let's do catch if you can, because this is a sick move. Let's do it on Onyx, because for some reason they love to target Onyx. I don't understand why. Here goes. Do your best. I'm going to do it one more time on him. I want to raise his evasiveness as much as possible. I'll use Bubble in the meantime. 
I wish you knew bubble too. Start spamming moves. Bubble is just is just great. I think I need to start using Bubble Beam to take out Torquor though. Uh, so special defense all. Good full heal. And the Onyx. Let's do Bubble Beam, Torquor, and we'll have Starmie do a Bubble Beam on it. My god, her defense just must be like ridiculous. Let me try taking out the side people, maybe that might help. Awesome, one down. I'm trying to take out whatever his face is. Let's speed it up a little bit to help get the meter of the charge faster. Oh no, please don't die. Oh no, I messed up. I was meant to. Okay, that works, I guess, too. Rip Onyx. Alright, now let's use the same move. Hopefully, it should. I'm pretty sure this should beat him. Oh my god, he's. He's really tanking these moves. It's fine. Okay, maybe it's not fine. I probably could have killed him if I didn't use the, the special defense all. Alright, let's do that again. That's that's I was not expecting that. I wasn't expecting her to be so tough. None of the other quests were nearly this difficult before. It's a huge spike in difficulty all of a sudden. Alright, let's go ahead and do that again. Uh should actually be prepared this time. Challenge Flannery. Uh Brox Onyx over here is ticking a Beating. Um, do I have anybody else that don't want to use Pikachu? And you're level one. Speed. Yeah, you're level. One. I would love to do Rosa. Oh wait, his weakness is flying. Hey, I'll just use Rosa then. Time to energize. Wait, oh, what did that do? I think did I unlock that? Uh, give me a sec. I don't know what that move does. I wish they could let me just read it. Here. Yeah, instead of having the back, we have moves and skills. I don't remember what this does. Increases the move gauge of all allied sync pairs by three. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I'll try that out. Let's see how that does. Luckily, Snivy's weakness is in fire, ironically. <laughs> so that helps out. I don't have to worry about Snivy dying near my. It's like twice their levels easily. We'll go ahead and give that a try. Hopefully, that works. Alright, um, let's do catch as you can on Snivy. Do bubble. Good time to energize. I think I messed that up. Oh my god, that's so OP, just maxes out my my thing. Oh my god. Really? 
God, Snivy's OP. <laughs> I, too bad I can only use it twice, and I, I messed up the first use. I'm really spamming moves over here. I was about to say, I think those are getting replaced. Go ahead and do this. Now let's go ahead and take out this guy. Swapped. Oh, that was okay. No more damage than I was expecting. Alright, we managed to beat Flannery. Had to, had to take me a second. I had to actually think about that one that time. That was the first, like, legitimately difficult battle <laughs> so far. You'll go with the Professor. That's different. You unlocked a new kind of area where you can explore Pasio and mingle with other Pokemon trainer. These special areas won't affect your progression in the main story, so you can explore whenever you play. What's this? Oh. Uh. This is just a bunch of field battles? What is this? What's this button do? Oh, does that take me home? It does. So I got a few training machines. Let me go ahead and level up some of my Pokemon. Level up. Um. Oh man, I don't know who to level up. What's your skill again? I want to look at this skill. Who's in skill? What did you have? You had... No hesitation, but I can't. And you... I might do... Army. This army is actually pretty decent. I really have my cute that Pokemon massive level. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, all right. We should, we should. Quest should be a lot easier, hopefully now. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I do not have nearly. Yeah, I still don't have enough. It's only like 250 more before I can uh do a pull. It's worth mentioning as well, though. Uh, if in case you're not aware, because of this is the first launch of the game, they have an exclusive one-time only five-star guarantee pull available if you play the game now because it is at launch uh the game did just come out what like yesterday or something so if you're interested in the game make sure you take advantage of this as, as soon as possible uh because we want to bet they're not going to really have something like this <laughs> in the future but other than that i think this could be a uh, be it for today guys i pretty much showed everything that i would at least for now in a typical gameplay uh or a typical yeah in a typical play session or whatever um it's worth noting though that there is an I, I don't remember if i mentioned this before or not there's an event button in the bottom left hand corner of the the missions tab now it's locked just simply because of the fact there are no special events currently happening in the game but i'm pretty sure those will that will be unlocked once they do add them but other than that that's it for today guys go ahead and let me know what your thoughts and your opinions are in the comment section down below let me know uh, if you enjoyed the game, if you don't join the game, if there's anything you would like to see or add to the game based on other gacha games you currently play. But if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I, when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from KMRT Cross Nation, and I, or KHUX Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.